Sex, lies, and murder in Western Washington. An all new podcast from Dateline's Josh Mankiewicz tells the story of a community left devastated when a pastor's wife is killed in an accidental Bremerton house fire the day after Christmas. What few knew at the time was the dark prophecy that foretold it. Pastor Nick Hackney and his wife Dawn seemed like a match made in heaven. Faithful, friendly, and committed. They had a real, what seemed like a chemistry between them. Just a cute couple. And then, the day after Christmas, came a fire in their bedroom while Nick was away. Dawn died. It was ruled an accident. It would take years for truth to rise from the ashes. And when it did, it was stunning. The story has the trifecta of true crime. It's got sex, religion, and a murder. Joining us now is Dateline NBC's Josh Mankiewicz, host of the podcast Mortal Sin. So Josh, I don't even know where to start. You describe this as a story about religion, the power of prophecy, sex, and murder. So first of all, tell us about Don's husband, Nick, and his influence in this small church on Bainbridge Island. Well, you know, this was a very small church. Uh, it was a charismatic Christian church called Christ Community Church. This was back in the mid to late 90s. Uh, and, you know, he was a guy who sort of, uh, he was a good preacher. He came on as the uh, youth pastor, but he had a way of connecting with people. He was very personable, and he sort of had the gift of gab. He also had a relatively high opinion of himself. He used to talk about how he was God's gift. To, to other people. Now, normally, when you, you say that about somebody in a derisive way, he said it almost in a proud way, like, I'm God's gift, you know, and you should appreciate me. So much of what you lay out in this podcast, it is shocking, especially the way that parishioners yeah. were manipulated, if I can use that word. These women were convinced to do things thinking they were doing God's work. I, you know, it, it's... Um, it's hard to sort of put myself in their shoes at the time. But, um, you know, these were women who took their marriage vows seriously, uh, who took their their uh, the, their vows, which they and many of them had taken in the church, uh, you know, before their, their friends and family and God, um, and who found themselves betraying those same vows because their preacher would say to them, this is what God wants. This is God's plan. One of the most disturbing and heartbreaking parts of the story, too, is what happens to Dawn's mother. Yeah, well, you know, this is a, you know, Dawn dies in this fire uh, the day after Christmas, 1997, and it leaves everybody shattered, including uh, the, the, the congregation believed um, her husband, Nick, the, the youth pastor. Um, and Dawn's mother, you know, as you can imagine, as we see all the time on Dateline, was particularly shattered. Mm -hmm. And she was taken advantage of in a way that is, I, I think, unconscionable. I have to say, and I listened to both of the episodes released today, I didn't see that coming, not at all. There's just so yeah. much to this story. Uh, people are gonna have to listen to it, but it does end with the killer in jail, years after Dawn's murder. It, how, how did that happen? It, it, uh, through a through a sort of forensic reexamination and through a kind of well somebody someone spills the beans and that sort of got this reinvestigation started and you'll hear about that and uh, in the in the three episodes that are still still to come uh, I have to say jaw dropped I mean you can't you cannot make this kind of yeah. thing up and it's real life Dateline NBC's Josh Mankiewicz host of the podcast Mortal Sin the first two episodes out today. Josh, thank you. Thank you so much.